Hi there, this video is all about making symbols. Symbols are just uh, objects that are connected together and they're really handy for things like footers and heading navigations like we've got here. You can see it's on all of the pages. Watch what happens when I, let's zoom in a little bit. If I adjust this logo here, notice, watch this one over here and I'll drag this one over here. Can you see, when you adjust one, they all go and adjust. You can see how beneficial that will be when you've got lots of pages. They're all using lots of shareable features, symbols, easy to make, easy to update. Let's jump in now and work out how to make them. All right, first up, what is a symbol? All a symbol is, is it's kind of like a group, but what we do is we create a symbol instead of a group, and it means that when I use this navigation on lots of different pages, when I update it, because it's a symbol, they'll all update. So you can see how useful that is when you get to something like this where you've used something on lots of different pages and instead of just copying and pasting it and trying to update it all manually, uh, you can update one, update the symbol, and they'll all update. So let's work out how to do that now. So first up, we need to be, if you're on your Layers panel, switch to your Assets panel, little icons down here. And there's a competition. Who's got the most random symbols in their symbols library? I've got one because I've been quite good throughout this course. I've been deleting the symbols that I didn't need. Uh, write in the comments or the notes how many you've got. Okay, uh, surely it's got to be more than one. Two, anybody? Three? It's competition, so he's got the, like, the worst. So before we go any further, I'm going to have nothing selected. I'm going to select everything that's in here, right-click it, and delete it. Where do those come from again? Just to make sure you're aware, the person that made this wires, I forget who made this, but they've created lots of symbols in here. Okay, and when you copy and paste them in, they come along for the ride. So let's find a symbol gotta be one of these. If I copy it and paste it, you see it just appears over here in my symbols library. Okay, so delete all your symbols. So we're going to start fresh slate. We're going to click on this. Everything that you want is part of the symbol. We've made a group already. You don't have to make it a group, but it is. It's all nice and locked together. To create a symbol, you just go over to here, make sure you're in your assets panel, symbols, hit the little plus, and there is our first symbol. It's called symbol four, which is not very exciting. I'm going to call this one top nav top nav okay and that's a little icon of it there because it's that long thin blue thing it's a little hard to see but you get the idea right you'll know, notice one of the differences is can you see it's got a green line around the outside where it didn't before it was blue and the real big perk now is if i duplicate this page because i need a new page um so remember you can go to your layers panel have nothing selected right click home page and go to duplicate there's the last time i'm going to do it or you can see there Duplicate is Command-D on my Mac. I'm going to do it my way the rest of the course. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to hold down my Option key on a Mac, Alt key on a PC, and just make a duplicate. I want to get rid of all of this. I'm going to unlock these. Wrong shortcut, Dan. Command-L or Control-L on a PC to unlock the boxes. And over here, I want to rename it. Double-click it. Let's call this one Dashboard. Hit Return. You can now uh, rename it over here. Okay, if you're on this layers panel, or you can double click it over here. So we've got our dashboard, and the cool thing about it is because we duplicated it, it's got the symbol top nav on both of them. Now, let's say the client comes back and says, actually, Dan, we don't like the word login. We're going to use sign in. Or let's say, like, I don't know, I go through problems of, like, is it login? I know technically it's meant to be log space in, but you see lots of sites use login, and is that more? Like, it's all about the users, not about, I don't know. My grammar in English is terrible, but I have arguments about what you should use. Um, say the client comes back and says, actually, it's sign-in. Even though, you know, they've decided through testing that the audience will prefer sign-in, and that's cool. And you'll notice how we got in there. It was just like we did for that group. Kind of skipped over that a little bit. So it's one big unit, but if I double-click it to go inside, I get that green halo around the outside, and I can adjust it. Mm, if I when I get out of it, I just click on the outside. So I've adjusted my symbol, but what's happened over here, let's have a look. It is still login. Okay, you're like, huh, didn't he say that that's what symbols are for? Okay, what you need to do is once you've updated it, you can tell it, you can say, actually you, my friend, I'm gonna right click you and I'm gonna say push overrides. What that means is going to push this override. So over, overridden the original, which used to say login, and I've changed it to sign in. I'm going to push those overrides to the other guys. So I'm going to click it, and you'll see over here, it's now sign-in. Some things don't require you to push overrides. Have a look. Um, physically moving things doesn't. Watch what happens. It's mainly just text. You can see both of them. 
okay, a little hard to do on your video because it's going to be quite small, but hopefully you get the idea. Can you see this teeny tiny squiggle of a logo? If I click it, I move it. Can you see it's moving on both of them? Whee. So I'm physically moving something changes on both of them. If I go through and click on this blue background and change the color of it, you can see it changes on both. It's when you're dealing with text and text amends where you need to push overrides. Now, the way we generated the second symbol was by copying and pasting the original uh, homepage. Um, let's say we don't do that because let's say I want to grab all of the footer. Okay, I want to convert him into a symbol. So back to my assets, hit the little plus. This one's going to be called footer. footer. And you'll notice that I, this guy's not. Okay, so I can make changes to this one. So I double clicked it, pick a different color. It's not changing because remember we only we only kind of made this symbol now. This version over here is not connected. So if I'm done, I want to delete that. And the way to do it is we could use our trick where we just hold uh, Option on a Mac, Alt on a PC to get a copy, or you can drag it from the Symbols library here. Okay, so you go to your Assets panel and grab the footer, just drag it off. Either way, as long as it's got the green line around the outside, you are good to go. Now, what other things should be symbols? Like these icons should so be symbols. Because if later on the client comes back and says, uh, that's not good, <laughs> I don't like the design of that, you'll have to go and find every instance of it. So you can click on this now, set plus. Okay, and this one's going to be, I always start with icon hyphen, and then this is image. So you've got a list of icons over there. The trouble is, is I need to bin him and duplicate him. So it's best to um, start working with symbols early on in your design rather than you can't fold these back in later on because it's there's no point. Um, so yeah, anything you feel like it's going to be reusable and you want to update, convert it into a symbol. You can update them easily by double clicking it and going inside of them unless you're doing text. If you update text, you need to right click the symbol and go to push overrides. All right, those are symbols. We're going to do some hardcore symbols later on in the course when we get a bit further because you can connect them between documents and we can go down the rabbit hole of symbols, which we'll do later on when we get a bit more advanced. But for now, it is time for the next video. Hi there, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, my name is Daniel Scott. If you would like to do the full course, there'll be a link in the description for that. Please give this video on YouTube here a thumbs up, it really helps me and uh, what I'm doing. Also consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, I release a video like this every week for your viewing pleasure. All right, bye.